let's install your Google Ads remarketing tag using Tag Manager, timestamps below, along with some other helpful Tag Manager install guides. Now, when it comes to using Google Ads remarketing, this is going to apply to anything you do with Google Ads. So that's display, that's search, that's YouTube, that's Gmail. Anything you do inside of Google Ads, this remarketing tag will work for those campaigns. So we're going to go ahead and start inside of our Google Ads account by creating our tag. So of course you'll head over to ads.google.com. You'll go ahead and click on start now to go ahead and create your account or sign in. I've already have an account, so I'll go ahead and sign in there. And then once you're inside your account, whatever page you're looking at or whatever type of account you have, you can come over here to tools and settings and then click on audience manager. So this is going to be where you manage all of your different audience lists and remarketing sources because you can get pretty detailed. But here, we're just going to set up our remarketing audience. So if you have not already set one up, you're going to be taken to a page that looks something like this so you can set up an audience source for the first time. And once you do, you can always click over here and see all of the different options that you have for audience sources or see the audience sources that you've already set up. So this is a demo account, so nothing has been set up here yet. So we'll go ahead and set up the Google Ads tag. This is different than the conversion tag, link in the description to a video on how to do that. Now, they're going to ask you some information here, and that's simply because they want to know how much information you want to collect about people. As a general rule, the more information you try and collect, the smaller your audience is going to be because every country and now states in the United States have different data processing laws. And so you can read more about that here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on general. I think that's more than enough for your remarketing campaigns. So we'll come over here to save and continue. And then of course you have three options for installing the tag. You can go ahead and install it yourself. You can email the tag or what we're going to do, use Google Tag Manager because that is the easiest way to manage your tags and Tag Manager is free. So it's kind of hard to beat that. So all you're going to need because we're using Tag Manager to install this, we don't need the code or to email it to our developer. All we need to do is copy this conversion ID. Now I do recommend saving this conversion ID to your own documentation. So I'll link up in the description to the Google Tag Manager playbook. It's the exact same framework that we use to store all of our own tags as well as our clients' tags. Even, even if you decide not to use ours, you definitely want a central place to save all this information. So I'll go ahead and drop in our ID there and then go ahead and click on continue and we are done inside of the Google Ads interface for now. So you'll see here that Google Ads tag has been created. There's one list and there's zero hits because obviously we just made it. So it's not on any site. And that is actually all where you need to do inside of Google Ads until you come back a few hours or days later to verify that this tag is working. Again, tools, audience manager, audience sources, and then you can click on details to get back to the page that we were on. So now let's go ahead and install our tag using Google Tag Manager. Comment below if you have any questions. So I am inside of our Tag Manager account and I'll go ahead and click on create new tag here. And then I'll give our tag a name. You can name it whatever you want. I still use AW for AdWords. And that's simply because Google Ads and Google Analytics has the same acronym, GA, sorry, or that's not an acronym, the same abbreviation, GA. And so we just still use AW. So we know what the heck <laughs> though is going on there. So we'll go ahead and click on tag configuration and you'll have all of these options and we can just click on Google Ads Remarketing because everything's made by Google in this particular video so they actually talk to each other pretty well. And then here is what you're going to paste, where you're going to paste your conversion ID. So jump back over to your Tag Manager playbook or whatever documentation you're using and of course you just go ahead and paste that number in. This number will be unique to each one of your ad accounts. So if you have multiple Google Ads accounts, you're going to want to do this multiple times if you want the same, if you want that remarketing tag on your website. So with that, 
that's all there is to it, to getting the information from Google Ads into Tag Manager. So now it's time to set up your trigger. And setting up your trigger is telling Tag Manager, when do you want this tag to fire? And because it's a remarketing tag, we're going to want to fire it on all pages all the time. When we set up conversion tracking, link in the description to those videos, you're actually going to choose specific pages that the tags will fire on. So we'll click on all pages here because if they hit something on a page on our website, we want that we want to know about it and you can create custom audiences inside of Google Ads. Lots of fun stuff you can do. So, well, and I'm a marketing geek, so maybe it's just fun to me. <laughs> anyway, might be scratching your head like, why do people like this? So we'll go ahead and go ahead and click on save up here. Pardon my rambling. And then you'll see down here, workspace changes, AW remarketing tag uh, and added. And so You'll also see a workspace changes counts here. And this isn't live, right? This is like draft mode, right? This is maybe we're going to do this mode. So in order to make this live on our website, we'll go ahead and click on submit. So once we do, just drop in quick information about what you did, because this is going to be on your site for years. We have some tag manager accounts that are over a decade old, and this always saves us because we can easily go back and say, oh, that's what someone did 12 years ago, right? So we'll hit publish, and then we will get a preview of all of what was installed in the version changes. These numbers represent everything in your tag manager uh, account or this particular container. So when you see two tags or multiple triggers, and you're like, wait, I didn't do that much. That's okay. That just means this is everything that is currently in the container. Now there's one other thing that we're going to want to do, and that is set up conversion linker. Even if you don't have conversion tracking yet, this can actually help with your remarketing. And there is one conversion linker per site. So if you have multiple ads accounts, you only have to do this once. So we'll go ahead and click on new tag here. And we're still under, I'm going to say we're still under setting up a trigger. And then for our title, we're just going to call it conversion linker. And this is a code for the website. So you can just call it conversion linker and you're good to go. We'll go ahead and click on tag configuration here and we will just click conversion linker. You don't actually have to set anything up. And this is just an extra step that Google has added to essentially reinforce your ability to track what's going on in your website. So this is free. This is not something special that you need to consider maybe or maybe not setting up. You definitely want to set this up to make sure that your tracking is working. You can go ahead and leave these alone until you get more advanced. So we'll just come down to triggers all pages here, and then we can go ahead and click on save. And so you'll see we have one workspace change here, conversion linker, and we can go ahead and submit those changes, drop in a little bit of information. We'll go ahead and click on publish, and now you can see the conversion linker has been added, and we have some additional tags just so that the conversion linker wouldn't give us a bunch of errors. But that is what I recommend doing for what you do inside of Tag Manager. So now it's time to verify our install. And to do that, we're going to make sure that the tags are actually on our site, fine correctly, using a free plugin called Google Tag Manager Assistant, or just Tag Assistant. And so you'll hop on over to any Chromium-based browser. I'm just in Google Chrome. Search for Google Tag Assistant, and then you can go ahead and add to Chrome. Of course, give it all, make sure all these boxes are checked, and then we'll go and click on Done and Enable. And then we'll want to go to the website that we installed our tag on. So this is the website that we installed our tag on. So all we need to do is come up to our extension bar up here, and you'll see that we have the extension here, and we'll go ahead and click on Enable. And then we have to refresh the page and we'll be able to see all of our Google tags. So when you do things with, let's say, Facebook, Pinterest, or Twitter, or LinkedIn, they're not necessarily going to show up here. So this is only going to show Tag Manager and the Google tags. You'll have to use other plugins to verify the other tags. But you'll see here that our Google Ads remarketing tag is here. It's green and Google Tag Manager and Analytics are green and blue. Green blue means we're good to go so we don't need to make any more changes. Now, what happens when things go wrong? The good news is there are other people who have most likely dealt with your situation or problem. So like I mentioned earlier, green and blue when, with the tag preview inside of Tag Assistant means the tag is good to go 
don't need to make any changes. Yellow means something inside your own browser is messing with the tracking. So you'll look at that and it's most likely another plugin or maybe you decided to opt out of Google Analytics. Now red means, okay, this thing's not working and we need to figure out what it is. So you'll go ahead and click on the red tag and down below, it will actually give you this long standard list of what is wrong and just go ahead and take that information, go to Google and search for it. And within five or 10 minutes, you're going to find someone who had the same error and most likely a solution in the Google forms. So that's all there is to it, to installing the Google ads remarketing tag using Google Tag Manager. Comment below with any of your questions and make sure you grab a copy of that Tag Manager playbook so you can stay sane and organized as you get all of your tracking codes installed and set up. So thank you so much for watching. And until the next, keep building the business you love.